Hi, this is William. Welcome to Flyspoke. And uh, tonight I'm going to tie a fly for you that was created by Clovis Arsenal somewhere around 1935 in New Brunswick, Canada. And uh, Clovis's story is pretty interesting. Um, he's a fly tyer for hobby and uh, started tying professionally. And at that time, since he was had a very close proximity to uh, where the members for the um, Restigush Salmon Club would have to come in in order to go fishing, um, many of the companies who supplied the hooks and uh, feathers and things of that nature were reluctant to sell Clovis materials. So he was forced to use material, many materials that he was able to get uh, trapping and different types of hair and uh, so uh, Clovis actually became what is considered today as uh, one of the preeminent uh, creators of North American hair wing flies. Um, at the time remember uh, a lot of the flies were feather wing traditional feather wing flies brought over from the UK. So I've put a base coat of red thread Giorgio Bonacci um, and now I'm putting in a gold, uh, a gold tag in the back of the fly. And I'm going to wind this towards the back of the fly. Three is good. One over. I'm going to bring it straight under, pulling tightly. Catch it in and come forward. So, um, Clovis worked hard and uh, became a professional fly tire, and people from the Restigush Salmon Club would use him to tie flies. And one of those people was Joseph Pulitzer. And Joseph was fishing uh, on the Restigush, and uh, he was using a fly that was uh, uh, created originally uh, by Roy Angus Thompson called the Black Rat. Now, Clovis had tied that fly, and when he did, he tied the underbody with a rusty orange color for the, for the body, for the floss. Um, and what happened was, is as the fly was being used, it seemed to be getting better and better and better as the orange floss started to unravel. So, hence the creation of the Rusty Rat. I'm taking some uh, peacock sword fibers, five, four, five, six, depending upon the size of the fly, and tying those in. And halfway, this is, you stop halfway. And the next thing is I am gonna take that, that floss rusty color now there are two places in this fly where you must have the floss facing backwards as well as part of the as part of it under tail first place is going to be right at this spot and the length of that one is to the back of the tail and the length of the second one is also to the back of the tail so I'm going to lay one in here like this I'm going to come down to where the second one's going to be, which is about halfway. So now the first one I'm going to lay forward. I'm going to take my floss. And I can just start my floss here. I'm going to get covered. So, and I'm going to put my floss there like that. OK, 
Okay, and now I just come back to the front. Okay, the next thing we're going to put in, I'm going to take some peacock curl. And the peacock curl is going to become the front of the body. And now I'm going to put in my my gold oval rib counter counterwound. I'm going to use, because I like how soft it is, I'm going to simply use some uh, kid goat hair. And I've mixed it already, equal black and white. If you see original photos, they're not fox, they're not squirrel, they're black and white hair. And I've seen original flies. And um, this is the closest that I can come to to this uh, to this look. And the hair should only be only be to the length of the tail. And secure that down nicely. I'm going to take a uh, webby very webby grizzly hackle feather. It's going to give us about halfway. And tie it in. And I'll trim that away. Just gonna spin it on as a collar. Okay. There it is.